In 2021, I redid 52 cards in 52 days, or altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. So in 2022, I'm going to go back, revisit that, kind of take a look at what I did last year, see if I can do make some improvement or make some changes that will make this year's card as good as last year's, in some cases, better in most. So last year I did the Edith Holden butterfly and did a, an experiment type um, card or experiment window type card. This year I'm going to put my own doodle in the card and I've showed you two that I made. My name's Peg. Two old crows is what I call my channel. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. I like to explore a lot of different mediums, a lot of different things across the mixed media world. If you'll hit that notification bell, you will know when I add additional content. So we are going to do two Three of Diamonds in this because I had pieces of my first filming and pieces of my second filming that I'm kind of meshing together. There were things that I liked in that first that I didn't want to discard and things that I liked in the second that I wanted to show you as well. So here were the the two cards that we're getting ready to redo, the three and the four. The three was the Edith Holden, and that is the one that we will be working on right now. So we will start by picking out something to create that window. Um, we're not doing a typical experiment slide type type card. We're just I just want a window that I can show my doodle through. So I think I've decided on what I want. And now we'll lay some watercolor paper down on this card, glue it down, and we're going to do that twice. We're going to do two Three of Diamonds. So let's get the first one kind of started. Tear that corner. So we show the denomination and we'll trim around the outside edge and then we will start to add some watercolor to this paper. So there you go. And I think that's kind of big. I think I'm going to go back and find one that's a little bit smaller. So let's look once again. That it's a nice little square right there, but there's also this one that has that little rounded top, and I think I like that one. So we'll put everything else away and use this little rounded top die. And now to add some color. So I just put my tape over my denomination so I didn't get paint on that. And I'm adding the cerulean blue and just putting the color onto the card. I want to add in some darker areas of blue. So I'll just hit that cerulean without diluting it with the water and pop it down on there. It'll splatter. And now see where that is going to fit in. I'll dry that. I took my heat gun to it to dry it so I could take it to the big shot without it tearing the paper because it was wet. And I just popped that out. And I created just a, a little drawing there, a little smudge that I think I'd like to doodle on, but I think I'm going to go back and do that in a lighter color. Instead, here is the first one, or the one that I completed before, or the one that I actually doodled on. 
And, you know, I lost the footage of that doodling, so that's why we're going to go back and kind of restart this again so I can show you how I created that doodle. So in order to do that, I need to come back and redo that card. So we'll put some watercolor paper down and we'll go back and just color that card in again and kind of start over. But I did want to show you the first one and how the watercolor went down for that one. And on this one, I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use the buff and the cerulean blue. So we'll just add an extra color in there. So here's the blue going down. Let's sprinkle a little bit on that or splash a little bit on it, add in some darker areas. And both of these I did, both wet on wet, you know, did, did it wet, wet the watercolor paper first and put the watercolor down and then this one I the first one I didn't wet the paper first, so there's maybe a little bit of the difference. I don't know. I'm not that great with watercolors. I'm still learning that medium and how it reacts and the different techniques with it, and I'm I'm just not very good with it, so I, I don't use it in in big pieces. That's why I like to work with it on these cards. And now we'll get this one dried and the hole punched in that one. Let me find that piece that I utilized. There it is. So once that's dry, we'll take that over to the Big Shot and punch that out. And there we go. There's our little little hole. There's I'm adding in the buff color there into the areas where it was a little white. And I just want to mute that a little bit. And there, that dries out really nice. Wipe any of the paint off of that card. Come back with a little splatter. And we'll let that dry while we work on our while we work on our doodle. So I'm just going to get a piece of paper and draw in the area that I want to smudge within or create my blob within. And I decided to use the buff. That's why I added some buff to the to the outside as well. And I'm going to add some additional blue to that as well. I'll just blot that up a little bit, put it down again. And I think I can work with that. So we'll let that dry. And I'll erase my pencil lines. And that's how that will show in that window. So I went to come in and I'm just putting in the lines where I went to draw with my mechanical pencil first. Just a few wavy lines, some straight lines, now some circles maybe up the center, and I'm going to come back with my Micron pen and just go over the top. Make sure that, that your paper is good and dry before you put your Micron pen to it or you will ruin your pen. And there. I think that is good.
Now I want to kind of darken the edge of that card and I decided the best way to do it is just draw along the inside with my Sharpie. And I did smudge it a little and I tried to erase it and I wound up destroying the watercolor paper. So here we go again. And I just kept all the mistakes in. Why not? So I'm just going to take that off with my finger. And I'll just show you how I worked through this. So I'm going to lay watercolor paper down again, just over the top of my hole. I'm going to glue it down. And I'm just using the art glitter glue. Glue that down, like always. I'm going to put it down to the edge, and then I'll tear that side off. To show the denomination of the card. I'm going to let that get set and then I'll cut it around the outside edge. Now to get the hole in the card, I'm taking the die that you see up in the upper right hand of my screen. I'm going to lay that on the back side of the card into that hole where it has already been created. Take that to my big shot and I will punch that hole and we will have a outside portion of this card recreated. We'll take it back, do the watercolor again with the buff and the cerulean blue, and the card will be finalized. But I'm not going to put you through all of that. I just wanted to leave enough in here to for you to realize I made that mistake and how I fixed it. So this is what the finished piece turned out like. I did two of the three of diamonds with the doodle, and each doodle is a little different. Each color of the card is a little different as well, and I like them both. I think they turned out nice. I think this would make a great artist trading card, and I think this is what I'm gonna do for my next round of artist trading card swap in my Facebook group, Two All Quotes. So if you want to participate in that swap, head on over to the Facebook group, Two All Crows, ask to join. There's three simple questions that you need to answer and we will be doing a swap in May. Once again, we just finished one. So <clears throat> thank you once again for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe. Thumbs up helps my channel. The comments help me. So thank you once again and bye for now.